How's it going, you beautiful hunters? We're gonna be finishing up a damn fine rescue today. This is gonna be a good one to do because, oh, it's just, it's, it's a very long mission. It's very drawn out and it takes a while, but we do get to fight our first, well, our first, air quote, constructor in this. You can fight them in the DLCs. Um, going through all of this, make sure I mean, you don't have to have a corrosive weapon. As you see, I'm using the Unkempt Herald. But, again, I suck at this game. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. Get you a corrosive weapon because it works really well against the robots. Um, when we get to the final little area here, this is a timed fight at the end of this. And if you don't beat it in the allotted time, it, the boss flies away. Like, he just goes off to another area, and you have to go chase him to the other area. Funnily enough, I've taken forever in this fight and never had to go to the other area. Yes, we, we hear you. Dude, just shush. Um, I've never had to go to the other area, and I'm quite slow at beating this boss. So, for the trophy... No man left behind is for completing this mission, a damn fine rescue. There's 294,783 accounts who have achieved this trophy. 59.24% of players have it. So it's not a hard trophy to get. Again, it's just another storyline mission. There are going to be a lot of gun loaders, and as you can see here, there's also a lot of exploders. And you, I think you can either fight, I think there's two guaranteed badass loaders, and I think you have a chance for a third badass loader as well. Again, not all that hard of a mission. We're going to pretty much just fly through it, get this sped up, because it's just a bunch of me running around being an absolutely horrible player and not being prepared for this at all and completely relying on the unkempt herald. Now, I take a quick pop shot here just because it's landed. I can get a crit on it and deal with it very quickly. Now, you see me pull out the shock shotgun because it's going to do the most... I, I'm going to call it penetrative damage. It's not penetrating damage, though. It's just more damage per landed shot. The Unkempt Herald is still going to beat this gun 10 to 1 but it's mostly just because of the 357 explosive split now my problem is the bullets are really slow and loaders tend to move around quite a bit so you can't completely rely on it here there's really no notable drops inside of this area um now there's not much notable to say about this place except just it's basically a gauntlet just run through it and kill everything and you see we're basically just again going through kill everything progress you hit kind of like a little checkpoint every time someone starts to talk but meh hopefully after not this mission but the next mission the game will kind of start speeding up getting a little more lively our videos will be a little less of this sped up gauntlet running and more of kind of just a relax. Don't interrupt me again, Roland, or I'll let it kill you. I don't care. <clears throat> so I'm trying the shot shotgun, not really working. I ran out of shotgun ammo. Here I run out of pistol ammo. I am not prepared for this fight whatsoever. I've completely ran out of ammo on pistols and shotguns. My sniper rifle is not gonna be useful at all versus a machine. Roland, I swear to God, I'm gonna let it just take you. So we're gonna swap over, let's see here. Ooh, big area of effect. That's actually a pretty good one. So is the rocket spread. Um, uh, yeah, that's probably gonna be the best bet. And you can actually get rid of exploders just by letting them get up close to you. As soon as they start their sequence to explode, they're going to explode. They won't stop it. 
And here I'm just, you know, trying to pump some... Oh, wow, that explorer almost got me. I'm just trying to pump as much damage into this warden as possible. And finally say, screw it, switch to the explosive rocket launcher, and bada bing, bada boom, dead. I probably could have dealt with that warden very quickly if I would have just gotten a corrosive weapon and kept it. Corrosive damage does very good against robots. It's what it's meant for. Um, I don't have a slag weapon either, so meh. And we're just taking down the loaders, trying to progress this little bit of the story. And here's the second guaranteed badass loader. Unfortunately, I get snuck up from behind. I'm trying to take down the badass loader, and I just, I'm out of ammo. Well, that sucks. Problem is, I think if you die there, when you spawn back in, Roland has already killed everything. I think you lose the drops. Badass loader and everything despawns. Oh, we got a halfway decent class mod, but it's not something I'm really interested in. Yeah, we didn't get any drops from what should have been the badass loader. Now, you can kind of go up and down this ladder right here to hit the button and sacrifice yourself to get some equipment. I've never been able to do it on PS4, unfortunately. I do remember doing it on the original Borderlands 2, but that's it. Once Roland's free, Thanks. walk up to him. Damn fine rescue is completed. We get 3,000 XP and 4 iridium. Remember guys, hit that like, subscribe, share, notification bell, comment down below, and let me know how y'all are liking the series, and if there's anything in particular you would like me to show off for Borderlands 2. But until next time guys, y'all have a good one.